Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Decision Hour. I'm Adam, and with me is always Patty. Adam, how's it going? It's going good. How are you? Really good. (laughs) It's a beautiful day here in Florida. I mean, it's just gorgeous out. Yeah, it's it's a brisk 34 degrees up here in the D.C. metro area. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Um, Listen, let's jump into this. Why don't you tell? We got a special guest. Uh, who's no stranger to the show, uh, but he's coming on talking about something a little bit different this time, and I'm excited to hear what he has to say, but why don't you let the listeners know who do we got and what we're going to be talking about today. All right, so we have Travis Wilson on the show again. We had him on talking about his business, Alpha Elite Performance, and um, Travis and I have been friends on social media for a while, and I'm looking at these cool updates that he does, and one day, Travis was, um, he was posting pictures of himself in the Bahamas, but one in particular picture really caught my attention because it looked like he had a jello shot in his hand. So I was like, what is that? It looks like a jello shot. <laughs> um, Travis. <laughs> so I was open up with that. Travis, what were you doing and how are you doing? First of all, how are you doing? And then tell us what you were doing with that picture that looked like a, a jello shot. <laughs> I am doing great. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Coronado, California. So I feel sorry, um, for anybody that has to endure 34 degrees. Jesus, uh, guys. <laughs> so, um, but what was I doing with that jello shot in the Bahamas? I was, come on, it was the Bahamas. I was, it was, was partying. Shot. What else? Right. You know, I was, I was partying in my, my 40 years of age here. So I don't get to do it that often. Um, but no, seriously, uh, you know, I, so I accepted a role for uh, a nonprofit called Time for a Hero, and we provide stem cell replacement therapy for our soft veterans. And I was holding up a, I think it was a 20cc syringe of my own pure stem cells that were harvested from my fat tissue, my adipose tissue. So it was nothing that I was going to squirt in my mouth or mix in a drink. So, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you said that was 20 yeah, right. uh, that was a 20 cc so they that, did it hurt when they Just pulled that out or like how like what's the process no, of that I, when they pull when they do that are you under are you awake when they do that yeah so um you are absolutely under because there is a bit of liposuction involved so that's always a plus uh you know <laughs> when i was introduced to this uh, one of the first things they said was that, you know, they made it sound like it was gonna, like it was a bad thing. They were like, you know, and there's, there's a little bit of, you know, liposuction involved. I'm like, oh, yes, let's do this. <laughs> but I can but, donate. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I'm not that vain, but you know, who doesn't mind a little liposuction. So he took about three Coke cans of, of fat out of my body. I slipped the doc a, a 20 so he could take out a little bit more, but he said the 20 wasn't going to go that far. Um, but uh, yeah, so you're under and, and they liposuction your adipose tissue. And from there they harvest the stem cells, the mesenchymal adult stem cells out of that adipose tissue. And within the hour, um, they are direct injected back into your joints, which I had my knees and shoulders. And as well, um, they uh, did an IV therapy with about, uh, I had about 45 million um, stem cells go back into my body, into my system, into my blood to break the brain barrier to help with uh, uh, TBI that I have endured over my 21 year military career. So, wow. Right. And yeah, to me, long. that was. That was particularly interesting to me because um, my husband, Ken, suffered a brain injury way back in 2007. And ever since he had that injury, doctors would tell him that there was basically no hope for a complete recovery from brain injury. In fact, there was a lot of horrible prognosis for long term, um, you know, in his long term, he could come down with things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So it was looking really bleak. Um, the last decade, we have made sure that Ken participates in a lot of cognitive therapy, a lot of uh, different occupational therapies. He's went through so many different therapies, all in a really um, stringent clinical 
setting and it's, you know, that really wears on you. So when I noticed your picture on social media and you had mentioned that stem cell therapy was now being used for brain injury, I thought that was really interesting. So I reached out to Travis and um, he was able to talk to me in more detail about um, what, what is it, and I'd like you to tell our listeners, what is it that stem cell therapy can, you know, is believed to do for those with brain injury? How, how do those cells help somebody with brain injury? Well, it really just kind of starts helping the frontal lobe, talk to the back lobe. It just gets the brain uh, working as it should. It kind of resets it. We all have different brain waves, and um, it just kind of gets you back to normalcy. Um, there hasn't been a lot of uh, clinical studies on on stem cells and the brain, but there have been a few. And and the you know the the truth is in the pudding. There, the the proof is in the pudding. It's it's the people are changing, and they're changing for the better. Um, you know, I'm not a doctor, so I can't. You know, I'm not going to sound like a doctor when I speak about it. But uh, you know, the stem cells are just helping these guys and myself included to kind of get back to normalcy. Um, I have had a heightened sense of, of smell. I didn't know I had a smelling problem, but now, you know, I live on this island and there's tropical trees everywhere and I can smell them and my wife can't. And, and I think it's wonderful. The tinnitus in my right ear went down a considerable amount and I'm at, I'm at month three. So normally most people have a good story at about month six to a year. Years when you really, people are just praising God. They're like, Oh my God, I'm healed. You know? So, um, but yeah, it's yeah. So in a nutshell, it's that they just help people get and back to normalcy. So Ken, I have my husband, so you don't, who do you not know? He also served in the Marines. He started being in the army, and he was in Force Recon. So he was able to qualify to obtain services from Time for a Hero, which has been incredible. Um, so from my my point of view, um, we have been treated like family, and. Um, Time for a Hero has really given my husband a lot of help because up until this point, the main thing that we've been trying to do with Ken is to keep him stable. And Time for a Hero um, has just really taken Ken in, treated him like family, given him hope, given him um, something to look forward to. And um, he's been trying now more than he has in a long time to do things like um one of the doctors that he had seen in the bahamas said well we know that you can't read a, a big novel anymore because of your head injury but why don't you try as silly as it sounds working with dr seuss books right how many military veterans do you know who actually want to read a dr seuss book well I was actually really surprised to find out a lot of them were interested. After I had posted a picture of my husband with a Dr. Seuss book in his hand, kind of being a little silly, I had over 170 messages of military veterans asking me or telling me basically that they were going to start reading Dr. Seuss books. And I thought for sure we were going to kind of have some joking going on with our friends about, ha, ah, you know, kind of reading a Dr. Seuss book. Because, you know, just for fun. And we would have taken it the fun way, but not one person actually said anything like that. Instead, everybody was like really intrigued and thought, okay, I can't get through a whole book, but now I can read a Dr. Seuss book. And that's okay. That's cool. Ken's doing it. I can do it too. Um, so it's kind of had a little trigger effect with our family as far as um, time for our hero helping Ken. But now Ken, by sharing his experience, we're able to, um, reach other veterans. And that's what Travis said, you know, for us, he in time for a hero has really helped, um, our family have some hope. And, um, so I just can't speak highly enough of you, Travis. You've really been, um, you've made a huge impact in our family. So thank you. My pleasure. Now, I think, you know, we've known each other for a while. I mean, we were obviously brought together for a reason. So amazing. working out. Amazing. So, um, can you tell our listeners a couple different things? One big thing is how are you funded? That this is so important. Uh, <laughs> how are we funded? Well, we are a nonprofit, so obviously we, we take donors donations from donors, 
um, from anybody uh, right now uh, because we are in our infant stages, but we are taking off rapidly. I mean, we are getting so many applicants and we want to treat these guys that we are literally paying out of pocket to make, to ensure that these guys are getting this treatment. So we're essentially, you know, building up a tab here, but, uh, but yeah, we're getting some donations and stuff, but it had an average cost of between 16,000 to 20,000 per guy. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're, we're paying out of pocket to make sure that these guys are being treated. So, uh, but yeah, donors and you can donate at, uh, timeforhero.org and hit the donate button. Email me at Travis at time for a hero. And you know, I can help you out with that, but yeah, that's how we are funded. To me, I mean, personally, I think that this organization is very worthy of getting, don you know, having you donate to you listeners out there. Um, a lot of organizations, they're great. They're helping with emergency financial situations kind of thing, but they're just putting a Band-Aid on the problem. Um, Time for Our Hero is actually helping to solve the problem on the medical side so that our veterans will be able to you know, go back to work possibly. Um, for a business maybe, you know, do things that they haven't been able to do since their injuries. And instead of just putting that Band-Aid on and saying, here, we can help you with this quick emergency situation, they're actually able to go in and, um, you know, make it so that our guys are actually recovering from what some thought that they never could recover from. So that's huge. I, I, got, a, um, I got a question real quick. How, how long is this process take? I, mean, I heard you mentioned like a year earlier Travis so like when you when you do this initial um uh treatment like how often does a person have to go but does it vary on the person does it how you know how is that calculated I mean what's what's the, the like the the beginning process to ultimately where is the end process on that does that make sense okay yeah I mean I, I think I understand your question I'm I'll, I'm gonna start with when they hit the uh you know, I want treatment on the, on the website. So, um, you know, if, if a guy goes to our website and clicks on the, I you know want treatment, I receive his information. We go through a process of vetting them because we want to make sure that they are a veteran. Uh, we want to make sure that they've been treated by the, the VA. So I'll ask to see their, um, VA medical record, not records, but their disability uh, letter with its you know, broken down into percentages. Um, and there has to be a TBI on there. And from there, uh, if they, they go up to the board of directors or the doctors, uh, everybody determines on who's fit for this uh, procedure. Not everybody is. Some people sadly get turned away. Um, there's some exclusion criteria and inclusion criteria. And once they are approved, then they're in touch with the nurses and scheduling. Uh, that, and that usually it's about a month to two months out of, uh, of the procedure. Um, we also use another nonprofit called Veterans Airlift Command for travel. Oh, if we yeah. if we don't have to pay for their travel, because we normally do pay for their travel. We pay for everything, travel, hotel, everything. Um, but we pay for their travel. Veterans Airlift Command can't do that. And then they get to the Bahamas, and they normally show up on the day of their pre-op. And pre-op is, you know, probably about an hour long. Then the next day, they have their operation, which lasts about, I don't know, a couple hours. And then they go to their room and chill out for a few hours in the hospital. And then the next day they have their post-op and some elect to leave on that day because they can and, or they will leave the next, the following day. So usually most people spend between three and four days uh, at the facility in, in Freeport, Bahamas. So it's not very long and you're not in a very long surgery at all. So well, I was going to say it. I don't want to say it's a simple, like I don't by any means do not want to understand to say it's a simple, but, but like you're saying that the time frame from this seems very quick and, and it seems that the, um, the, the treatment itself and, and the results are, 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 you know, awesome compared to, to like what other things that people go through and, and, and whatnot, like surgery. Sometimes you do a surgery, you're in there for a hospital for several days before you can go home. And this seems like it's, it's yeah. boom, boom, yeah. get them home, start feeling better yeah. till, till the well, next one or whatever. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's relatively quick. It is. And, uh, you know, the process of harvesting the stem cells is, 
they, they use an enzyme on the processing, which releases a uh, regenerative, it releases the regenerative cells from the fat. So um, the enzyme is not a bad thing, uh, but uh, it, it just, it happens within an hour. I mean, they're, they're the, the stem cells and the fat are taken from your body and within the hour they're returned to the patient, the pure stem cells. Jeez. So it's pretty yeah. cool. Uh, it happens fast. And, and I am a guy who has received like PRP stem cell stuff, uh, you know, when I was still active duty and, and it didn't do anything for my knees at all. And you know, so I ended up having partial knee replacements on the medial portion of my knees, just on the inside. Right. And, uh, but you know, we, we took a little, not, not, not a gamble, but we just decided to, to inject the stem cells, uh, on the outsides of my knees to kind of help save the, the lateral part of my knees so that I don't have to have full uh, knee replacements because these mesenchymal cells will turn into one of 220 different cells in your body. Um, and they're, they're smart. They're like little box. They get in there and they know what to do and where to go. And they find the places in your body that are inflamed and essentially crying out for help. And you know, that's just what they do. They fix you. Uh, and in some cases, uh, they don't do such a good job, but most cases they do. So, uh, and you know, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, go ahead. Yeah. One of the other things that I love is that, you know, Adam was mentioning how fast the procedure is and then you just go home and you just heal up and go on. But some people don't realize too, that the, the veteran has to do a lot in the meantime, as far as playing some brain games. Now, my husband took it a step further. So, um, the doctor's told him that they needed him to at least play game brain games for about a half an hour a day. Ken tries really hard in the morning when he wakes up, he'll do it. He'll do some brain games again in the afternoon and he'll do them before bed. And um, now we have a music therapist that just started coming to our house. I mean, there's different kinds of therapies that people can use, but um, the more that the veteran can do to help exercise the brain, we've been told that the better the outcome will be for the stem cell therapy. Is that, I mean, that's kind of your understanding too, right, Travis? Absolutely. Yeah, no, I got home and, and like Ken, uh, I, you know, have been doing brain games. I downloaded luminosity, which is everybody should do that. It's, and, and it's actually fun. It's better than this crap. These kids play Fortnite and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I've, I've got my kids playing it. So, um, I'll even take it one step further. I broke out the old Atari and yes. your old uh, space, <laughs> yeah, I've been playing Space Invaders. Yes, it's just a, it's, it's <laughs> so uh, yeah. It's, I mean, it's just basic making my brain stronger, I guess. But you know, I have already you know, at month three, I really do feel I feel more motivated throughout the day, and I'm sleeping through the night, uh, which is amazing. So I mean, I know it's working, and you know, I I have zero complaints. Well, I think it's wonderful. And so if people want to follow your story and what you're doing and what Time for a Hero is doing, where can they find you on social media? Well, we have an Instagram page. Uh, at time, it's, well, it's Time for Hero. We had to drop the A because there's a kid out there who's got Time for a Hero, but he's not using it. So if he's listening to this, okay. can I please have your <laughs> Instagram page name? <laughs> yeah, so we're Time for Hero. Um but you, so you'll see the logo, but, uh, Facebook, we're time for a hero. And then you can email me at Travis at time for a hero.org. If you have any questions and then uh, the website is time for a hero.org. And you can see everything that we're doing there and we're still building up our website. It, it looks good, but we're just adding more to it and, and doing neat things with it. You'll see a picture of me jumping out of a plane uh, as soon as you open it. I was just going to say, who uh, is that? Is that you? I'm I'm on the website yeah. right now looking at it. So, yeah, Travis is yeah, that's me jump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I thought it was badass, but badass will break your body. So, <laughs> I've had 13, 13 surgeries in the last four years. Yeah, like so. it seemed like a good idea when I was younger, and now I'm suffering. <laughs> yeah, <more. laughs> you know what? I would do it again in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, yeah I absolutely. would. Yeah. So, that's well, but, we uh, you know, and it's it's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's, and it's my pleasure. I would, like I said, I would do this again. And I think that everybody that we're treating at Time for a Hero uh, would do it again as well. They're, you know, they're all heroes. And 
our goal in the future, just so everybody knows, is not to limit it to, uh, right now we've limited it to special operations uh, in the military um, because when I took over CEO, I got inundated with applications and a lot of guys, you know, I feel for them and I want to help them, but they just didn't qualify. They didn't meet the qualifications that the doctor set. And, but we've limited it to soft, to, to all special operations, not just green berets. Um, but in the future time for hero is going to be exactly that we have heroes all over our nation in police and in firemen, first responders. And we want to open it up to everybody that, that, you know, deserves this treatment and then that need it, that needs it. So, um, it, you know, as we grow, uh, we hope to do that. And we're going to be offering more, uh, other than just stem cells, we're going to be offering other things as well. Um, that'll benefit, uh, quality of life for, for heroes. So, wow. well, yeah. thank you, Travis. Thank you so much for being on the show. We love you. Absolutely. And, um, let's, I mean, let's do a shameless plug to, for your business too. Could you tell everybody where they can find your, find your um, health products? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I do have a supplement nutrition company called alpha elite performance and you can find alpha elite performance on Instagram and Facebook. And, uh, the website is alpha elite com. If, uh, if you're in. Thank you. Awesome. Adam, do you have anything else you'd like to say? No, I mean, I just, you with? know, I just want to say thanks. And, and for those of you that are listening to the show right now, it means you're already on the internet, go check out, um, the organization time for a hero dot O R G. And, uh, you know, it's the beginning of the year. Those of you that are thinking about making a, a tax donation, uh, what better way to do it than with this organization right here? Uh, and you heard Travis, he's going to be, this is going to be opening up. But is, uh, this is an organization, when you take a look at it, you just know that this is an organization that is here for the long haul. And he's already shared what his vision is and that, that it's going to continue to grow. So um, get involved now. You know, so check it out. Time for a hero dot O R G. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. So, um, but no, Travis, th- thanks again, man. I appreciate everything. Oh, it's always good talking to you. Um, and, and thanks for everything that you do. You, you stay pretty busy and, um, obviously you you always have an open mic, uh, at heroes media group and, uh, uh, here at the decision hour. So if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to, uh, to let us know. Uh, so that said, it looks like he uh, must have fell off. Patty, you still there? Yeah. All right. So with that being said, we're out of time anyway. We are up on time. Uh, so Patty, do you have any closing remarks before we let everybody go? Oh, there he is. I'm he's here. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's back on. So <laughs> we were, we were, So let me let me repeat what I said. I was like, hey, you always have an open mic with us. Uh, so if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to let us know. Oh, awesome. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. So, so. Uh, Patty, do you have any closing remarks? Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening, and definitely go check out Time for a Hero. Make sure you guys check that out. That's all the time we have today, folks. Travis, thanks again for being on the show with us. For Patty, I'm Absolutely. Adam. You've been listening to The Decision Hour.